What we're demonstrating here today is uh, palladium that is uh, plated or co-plated with the silver crystal in our silver refining. Our analytical had shown that we had a, a high level palladium in our ores. As we went through the refining steps, we lost uh, um, the palladium values we figured it would be in our anode muds. We thought it was in our plating baths. Um, we didn't think that it was in our silver because of our power supplies were sitting right at 0.8 volts. Uh, palladium will plate at 0.83 volts. Um, the only way that we, we had stumbled across this was just doing a peroxide, a 3% peroxide on our silver crystal and we got a reaction. Normal silver flakes uh, will not give a catalyst reaction. We have uh, 5 grams of silver which we believe is contaminated with palladium. We're putting a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. And you see the reaction. We're about four minutes into the reaction. You can see how the color has changed. Uh, the first time I did this test, I, I just let the hydrogen peroxide evaporate down, and you can see the, the plating that it did on the glass. And you see the silver crystal still at the bottom. If I added more hydrogen peroxide to that, it would still react because the palladium is still present. And the lesson in this here is just uh, before you send your silver to market, uh, silver shouldn't react with hydrogen peroxide. 
just do this test um, because the refiner will not pay you for palladium unless you can prove that it's in there and you find a, a refiner that um, is paying on the platinum groups. This reaction will go on for days. I think uh, we've seen enough. I hope you've learned. Um, and if you have any questions, say Western Environmental does buy concentrates. Uh, we, we try to give a fair shake. We, we teach people um, what we see in it and, and why we see the value. We don't pay on all metals, but we do uh, um, do our best to bring what we can to market. Have a good day.